Yolanda Ortiz, Tennessee journalist. Abortion laws and their enforcement have fluctuated through the eras. In the 18th and 19th centuries, doctors, clerics, and social reformers successfully pushed for an all-out ban on abortion. During the 20th century, abortion became legal in many Western countries, but it is regularly subjected to legal challenges and restrictions by pro-life groups that has sparked heated debate and in some cases even violence. By 1910, all but one state had criminalized abortion except to save a woman's life. Criminalization of abortion did not reduce the numbers of women seeking abortions. Although accurate records cannot be kept before the Roe versus Wade case, it is known that thousands of women were harmed as a result of illegal abortion. Many women died or suffered serious medical problems after attempting to self-induce their abortions or going to untrained practitioners who performed abortions with primitive method methods or in unsanitary conditions. Some women were able to obtain relatively safer, although still illegal, abortions from private doctors. This practice remained prevalent for the first half of the 20th century. The rate of reported abortions began to decline, mostly because doctors faced increased scrutiny from their peers and hospital administrators were concerned about the legality of operations. Between 1967 and 1973, one-third of the states liberalized or repealed their criminal abortion laws. The right for women to have an abortion in all states was not achieved until 1973 in the case of Roe v. Wade when the Supreme, Supreme Court struck down the remaining restrictive state laws. This case marked an important turning point in public health policy. Each year, almost half of all pregnancies among American women are unintended. About half of these unplanned pregnancies, or 1.3 million, are ended by abortion. There are many myths and misconceptions about who gets abortions and why. The fact is that women who have abortions come from all racial, ethnic, socioeconomic, and religious backgrounds. If current rates continue, it is estimated that 35% of all women of reproductive age in America today will have had an abortion by the time they reach the age of 45. Yolanda Ortiz, The Tennessee.